Catherine Switzer was the first woman to run a marathon, and in the 1960s, women weren't allowed to participate in marathons. She was just talking to the Syracuse coach, which was the coach for the boys' running team, and he ran the Boston Marathon multiple times. She was running with the boys at practice, and she said, I want to run a marathon with you. He didn't think she could do it, and so they started training, and then they were ready to run the Boston Marathon on March 15, 1969. But she went through a lot to do it. She entered the race as KV Switzer, and no one thought anything of the name. At the start line, she wore makeup, and her boyfriend told her to take the makeup off. She said, I'm showing people who I really am. She was stopped two miles into the race by the race official, Jock Semple, and he was physical and pulled her back and told her to get the hell out of his race. She was forced not to finish the marathon and came back and gathered a group of women, and they showed men that women are powerful and can run and are allowed to do what men can do. She was determined by how men treated her, and that was her determination to prove them wrong and show them that women can do the same thing men can do. This supports our thesis because of how Jock Semple treated her during the race, and how he was physical with her and pulled her back and forced her not to finish the race. He created a whole group of women and they ran different marathons, and she continued to fight for women's equality. She showed other women they are equal. This supports our thesis because she is a powerful woman and she showed other women that men and women are equal. She is the reason that women can run marathons today. She was the first to show men and women and the world that women can do the same thing that men can do. That gave women hope. This supports our thesis because this was the outcome of all the fighting. She was doing it for women's equality. This is related to Chicago because women run the Chicago Marathon today. Because Catherine Switzer was the one who stood up for what is right. And women looked up to her. And today, women runners in Chicago run in marathons today because of her. And women all around the world do the same. The first woman to run a marathon was Bridget Brewer because no woman had ever run a marathon before. Catherine took her risk to run the marathon so other women could. Even though she got physically and verbally abused, it was worth it. If she had not run a marathon today, Lauren would maybe not be able to run a marathon. Catherine pursued what she loved to do, and because she did, all women can run marathons. She also recently ran the Boston Marathon again. After what happened before, the head of the races never issued her number 261 to anyone. Today, Catherine is 73, but she looks like 45. Running kept her young. Overall, I think she did that was, We think Catherine Switzer's act of defiance was met with fierce retribution because just like any person back then, she didn't think it was right that men could run marathons and women couldn't. She was trying to prove them wrong, and she was attacked because she was a woman running a marathon. But she stood out from all the rest. She didn't stop because Jock Semple told her she couldn't run. She didn't stop because the media told her that only men can run. She kept going and stood up for what was right. She didn't let things get to her. She kept going and soon after crossed the finish line of the Boston Marathon as the first woman to run a marathon. We did this as a history for a project about Catherine Switzer because we wanted something to do with women in sports. When we saw this idea, we loved it and chose it as our topic. She was only 20 when she tried to run the race. She was the only brave attempt to run the Boston Marathon as a woman. She got beat up by many men. Even though she couldn't finish the last time, she came back many years later and finished the Boston Marathon in 2017. She broke a barrier so now women can run. She made many people realize that women can run too. 
I love to run, and if it wasn't for her, I could maybe not be able to run. She is a hero to many.